So let's understand what is the problem that we're trying to solve uh, in this workshop. So the problem is to recommend similar apparel items or products in e-commerce. So for those of you who don't understand what it means, let me walk you through amazon.com. So this is a page on amazon.com. This is called a product page. This is called a product page because on this page, if you notice, you basically have a product, uh, which, which is a polka dot uh, women's shirt here. And there's a whole details about this shirt, right? About this, about this apparel item, right? So apparel basically means things that we wear, right? So uh, I'll walk you through, I'll walk you through each of the components of this page and what we will leverage, right? Let me explain you with, with what, uh, with what you see on amazon.com so that it's much easier. So whenever you go to amazon.com, this is your product image, right? This is your product image. Uh, you, you have multiple images of a product many times. So, um, I mean, you have the same product image from multiple angles, right? So, and you can zoom in, zoom out, you can get multiple sizes and things like that, right? So for each of a product, for each of these products, this is the brand name, Beov. This is the brand name, right? And this is called the title. This is called the title of the product, okay? Which in a few words explains you what it is all about. Look, look at this. It says, it gives you the brand name. It says it's a casual O-neck. O-neck short sleeve dot pleated chiffon cupcake top. Right? I mean, it has a lot of interesting words here, if you notice. Right? So, uh, it says it's, it's, it's a dotted shirt, pleated chiffon cupcake top. Right? So, it gives you a lot of information. So, the title has a lot of interesting and important information. Right? Now, what you have here is the price, right? You have price here, which we will use. And along with all of them, you have uh, you have other important information. For example, if I scroll down a little, I have a lot of information here, which is called the product description, which is called the product description. So in the product description, it says, uh, what is the quality, uh, what is the material here? It says 100% polyester. It says uh, on what occasions you can use and a bunch of other things, right? Uh, whether it's round neck or it says pleated front, short sleeves, a bunch of interesting keywords. But remember, your product description is much, much longer than your title, right? But it gives you some interesting information about the product itself, right? I I'm just walking you through what a typical Amazon.com page looks like. Now look at this. So as so this is a page for this product, right? For this a polka dot, uh, uh, a women's top on this page if you notice there are this says these are products sponsored products related to this item related to your polka dot item right now if you look at these there are some like this image right this is also a polka dot blouse right of course it's not short sleeves it's just long sleeves this is also a polka dot but slightly different color this is black in color right so these are items so these are this is what i meant by similar items that amazon recommends you okay so all these are similar items now let's let's go let's go to the right end because it can give you many more okay here you get some more recommendations uh, again one of the things that you'll notice quickly is it has polka dots long sleeve this is a diff this is not an o neck here right this is some this is a slightly formalish uh, chiffon blouse right so if you look through each of these recommendations that amazon gives of course there are some by the way, there are some non polka dot images. For example, this top, right? This top is not at all about polka dots. Even this top is not about polka dots. It's neither, uh, I mean, uh, probably it is recommending this because of the round neck. Probably, right? And th there, there are many, many parameters which Amazon uses to recommend these items, right? So th this is one section. This is called sponsor products related to this item. There is one more section here which says customers who viewed this item also viewed okay this is also these are also recommendations now look at this this looks very much this looks very much like a like the top that that we originally saw right but it's probably by a different brand right here is here is another top so as you keep going as you keep seeing here you have many of these many of these are called product recommendations right okay you get some more product recommendations here not all of them are need need to be polka dots there could this is like a small flowery pattern in here right so what what is interesting oh this this is a large polka dot here right so what is very interesting is 
all these so this these two these two horizontal bars of related items are called product recommendations that amazon gives now you might say why are product recommendations important right why care about product recommendations why care why care about product recommendations um, why care about product recommendations it's it's a very important question that i too had long back but uh, on amazon.com it is estimated it is estimated it is estimated that almost 35% of the revenue 35% of revenue that amazon makes every year is because of product recommendations so which means when when somebody is on this page they not only look at this product but they also look at but they also look at all the related products and they probably end up buying some of these related items and that generates almost 35% of revenue for amazon and that's if, if you look at 2016 revenues that's more than 40 billion dollars that's more than 40 billion dollars b for bomb b for bangalore here okay this is 40 billion dollars of revenue massive amount of revenue because of product recommendations okay so so when you have a 40 billion dollar incremental revenue because of a product i think most companies will care about it right so amazon what happens is internally 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 amazon uses two sources of data to do product recommendations one is called content based one is called content based recommendation so content based recommendation is basically saying that if you have if you are looking at a polka dot if you are looking at a polka dot shirt there is a very high chance that you'll you'll also like another shirt which also is like a polka dot shirt okay probably different shirt right so it's using the it's using the text description and the image description it's using text and image description of products to recommend okay so it's using the content itself it's using the text content and the image content itself to recommend products for you there is an other form of data that amazon uses which is called uh, collaborative collaborative filtering based techniques so collaborative filtering based techniques works as follows if you have a user u1 who has seen an item i1 and i2 and i3 right of course people do a lot of window shopping on amazon right so a user u1 let's assume checks out product i1 or an item i1 and then he or she goes and checks out product i2 and then i3 and so on and so forth now a other user u2 let's assume checks out item 1 and item 3 and item 4 right the next question is imagine if i have a new user u3 who is checking out item 1 right since item since item 3 is being checked out both by item both by user 1 and user 2 after item 1 look look at this after item 1 both users u1 and u2 have checked out item 3 right so there is a very high chance user 3 also since user 3 is on is checking out product i1 there is a very high chance that they'll be interested to check out i3 which means i can recommend i3 so i can recommend i3 to user 3 when they are on the i1 page so i1 is the item by the way okay that's because other users who came before u3 typically went and note went and uh, spent some time on the product page for item 3 right this is called collaborative filtering unfortunately for our problem we do not have this data this data is is very closely guarded by amazon we do not have this in our workshop we will use the text and image data we will do content based recommendation so we will do content based rec recommendation not collaborative filtering based recommendation in content based recommendation we use the text description and the images that we can easily get from amazon.com homepage so we will use uh, so we'll use things like uh, we'll use things like brand the image we'll use the descript uh, we'll use the title we will use the price and other features to recommend similar products so just just to be clear here we are not doing a collaborative filtering based solution in our case of course internally internally amazon uses both like every every major company uses both since we do not have access to this data this data is very closely guarded by amazon 
they would never give this data out very easily. But this data is much more easy to obtain from Amazon itself, right? So we will build a solution which is a content-based recommendation. So we do a content-based recommendation engine in this in in this uh, in this workshop. So what is a task? Let's be very clear here. Imagine if somebody gives me a product, right? I want to recommend this user similar products. I want to recommend this user similar products, right? All these products are different. All these products are different, right? But they are similar. So all these products are similar to my initial product. So let's call this product a query product, right? And all these are similar products. All these are similar products, similar products or items. I'll keep using the words product and item interchangeably. They mean the same thing. Okay. They're similar products to the query product, to the query. Okay. And our objective is to try multiple techniques using text and images to recommend these similar products. That's the problem that, that we are trying to solve as part of this workshop. 